the clan of the stag, proud of the legacy of our astonishing achievements. They are renowned as much for their honorable and regal manner as for their harsh justice and unyielding strength. Valuing wealth and fame, they are highly ambitious expansionists. So, yeah. St the stack clan starts with uh, extra resources and can have skulls, you don't really see them, use them, they are pretty bad at the early game. Once you have like 26 or more people then you can be like, hmm, maybe I get some skulls or brewer people, but you just want to get happiness from the lore. Uh, fame bonuses 200, you gain food, wood, coal, lore and stone, and 500 you get uh, more production for every... 100 fame you have for upgraded buildings that have already people working. Uh, the relic, uh, we are not probably gonna see a lot of relic uses because the relics are not that great for most of the clans. Right, let's get on with it. So, a start you go for the scout camp and then see what's around you. You can also already boil the house and uh, woodcutter. I know what else there is already, so I'm gonna put woodcutter down. This map is going to be exactly the same for all of the clans. Uh, what can I say is that uh, once you start up, you do want to just go and get lore, like get the one lore master working. I can't say like how important that is. Uh, Alright, get the uh, one dude back. You can get the house going. Sure. So there is one wolf here with ruins and iron, then this style has the stone, and then there should be a wolf camp. So <coughs> at the game, when the game starts, you can go there. Good, house there, got lots of farm. So when the game starts you want to scout the areas that are next to your tides and if you want fame then you want to go for the main or the middle. Uh, and I'm going to play so that we are not getting the middle. But if you go for the middle then you get two scouts and just straight go for it. If you get it then you get it, if you don't then that's also fine. Uh, this style here has a beer and a forest, and this one has a troger camp. I hope I can show off what's going on, but probably not, so I will scout them out. Uh, for the lores, you want to go with stag, you want to go for the silo deck technology, where you get uh, more food for every silo you have. So yeah, two wolves here, and then scout also those tiles. We'll get uh, one warrior out and start clearing and can easily also clear the wolf camp. Alright, come here. So the wolves attack uh, faster than warriors, and if you attack and run away then you <laughs> attack about the same, but you deal the damage first, so you take less damage. Alright, and now to kill the Wulus here. Hopefully can do it. But uh, maybe not. I uh, always have the um, scouts uh, reselected. Oh, there we go. Take it down. Alright. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna wait here. I don't want the uh, wolf to respawn. 
I will just take it. I am going for the eradication. You can also pick up uh, colonization, like either one of these two laws, both of them are fine. For a stag, maybe eradication is better because it uh, goes better with uh, food preservation. But if you really want to go fast, get that 200 fame, then colonization might be the big. If you have warrior in this zone, wolf does not spawn. Yes, that is correct. Wolf does not spawn then. Uh, I'm not going to go for organization because there are l I don't have any sheep and there really aren't too many dice that I want. Alright, going to call the scout back. I can see that there are Trogo there. I could take this tile, I can build... Uh, Extra camp, and then go through with these, but that's also fine, right? Uh, so, since there are no neutrals that can really come and attack me, I'm gonna get rid of my injured person because it takes uh, 20, produce 20% 20 less, and that's quite a heavy load. I do need to get the stone, so gonna save up for that. And then have two woodcuts working. Is it against a skilled opponent? No, it's against AI. It's a custom map that I'm playing. Um, that is bad. That there should be neutrals. Okay. Eradication, take it. I will have to fix that, I will have to look into that, rip. But good thing is that stack does not need neutrals. <laughs> so yeah, in team games, stack is a very hard choice to pick, like, you wanna go to top 3 to get your economy going. And then you also wanna go the bottom tree, and then you wanna go for the middle tree. So you go like uh, four top, and then two down, and then you can start trading. So like your code income is gonna be quite slow, and you have to pick up uh, one uh, useless store that you probably won't use. Alright, good. Get that. Uh, get the woodcutter. Start uh, mining. Um, With second woodcutter. If you are mining stone right away, then you can upgrade your main and upgrade woodcutter and just uh, three woodcutters working. That's good enough usually in uh, most of the game. <coughs> I do exactly the same lore than you are bringing both silo woodcamp training and making cutter. Uh, but stag is weak, can I do? Yeah, stag is weak. It is slow. You're not getting the very strong and broken income. You're not getting the coinage straight away. You can also go bot and get the coinage and erudition, but it's still not that good. You rather just get the food from the silo, at least if you have two food tiles. And there should be fish here. There aren't any fish tiles, so I only have one food tile. Okay, I will have to look into it. I was thinking that there is going to be fish here also. And that there should be no trolls, but hey, alright. Sure. Other game. Um, that means you cannot pull fishermen there. Mm, keep going. I want to upgrade main. I should try to play it without alter to make big army to do. Yeah, it's not gonna be that great. There are better clans for that, for A to do attack. Even in A to three stack feels quite sad. They really don't have anything special going for them. They don't have any special lore. The only thing is they have young and proud, but 25 max, I mean, you just rather have the basic uh, military strat that you 
will easily get, so even this is a bit bigger. Alright, upgrade main. Uh, probably will have to take these woodcuts away. Gonna take one of them away on him. So yeah, winter is here, have enough time. Uh, hero emblem, you probably will pick up. That is, if you want to build altar, and if you don't want to build altar, we don't really want to build altar. And then yeah, the food. Sadly, there is like uh, no more lore. The ruins is also sitting there, but we don't really need it that fast. Could upgrade the silo here, or could just also upgrade the farm once I have the stone. Alright, go back wood cover. It is a lot better to save up a lot of more food and then have negative food in the winter, but I messed up a little bit. Yeah, minus three is fine. I was thinking this here is a fish tile so I can build fisherman, but it was not. Uh, you know what? Yeah, just upgrade the silo. I'm gonna take the woodcutter away. Go get the ruins, so I do wanna get the food preservation faster. At least that's a little bit uh, lore I can take, but uh, you need the lore master rank 24 7, and even this is pretty slow. Going pot, like the value of great deeds, you're not gonna use this. Coin it so you can trade with your allies, and then your addition is also quite sad. You're just like missing this. Food preservation is that's a good lore. But you can go bottom tree and then go into middle. Your pop cap, that's fine. We'll worry about it after winter. I can also starve, so work my dudes. Uh, the usual starving time is like uh, one month but it depends like um, how big of a minus you have. If it's like minus one then it's probably gonna be minus uh, one month but if you have like a minus 30 then it, it will be like one and a half or something like that. They changed it but I have no idea how it works at the moment. Alright. Yeah, get the house up. Need to also mine the iron, but we are close to 200. We'll get it with the uh, next floor. Yeah, I have a scout back. I wanted to scout that tile. Alright, food preservation. Welcome food. so we'll do that but yeah there really is like anything I can do usually what you want to do is only have one upgraded foot building with stag you can just build the uh, silos everywhere have that plus uh, three or plus five income from the lore it's amazing you're alone I did want to send another miner there how far are you guys still mining Sure, just mine it so we don't have to have the upkeep and I can get one more space. Uh, 
uh, upgrade code also. Don't have a coin it, so do that. For the iron, 15 iron will be enough. That means we can upgrade our army, whatever we choose, warriors, silk or extras, and then the other five will go for... Yeah, okay, I have to check this. This is not working. I will just probably add cobbles there. It's fine. Alright. Oh yeah, that's full. Go there. Then again, never mind, just go. Gather more gold. Need more gold. <laughs> just need gold. What do you think of armor generally? Is it the waste? I really see you making one depending on the clan. I guess for even it's matter but with all clans. It depends what you're playing. If it's a team game, you rather want to go get coined so you can trade with your allies and be efficient. If it's a 12 or free for all and you want to push for the lore victory slowly, then you want to get harbor and ship building. Or you want to go for yellow trade for whatever reason. It is that this here, the lower the coinage is a lot more available than anything else. Uh, we'll pick up the useless lore that we don't use. The value of great deeds. Rip. Sarber is better for free for all and much better for team games. Uh, Harbor is also good for solo. But uh, you do want to go for the neutrals that I don't have here on this map because I'm a bit big. Mm, I do have enough to actually build altar. Don't really want to do it, but hey, sure. Nah, not gonna do it. I need uh, 5 stone, I need to upgrade the scout camp, even though the scout camp is a little bit early. Get the uh, forge going, need to get uh, our warriors. Okay, interesting. I need to get our warriors uh, upgraded. Go there. I would recommend going for the warriors, they are the most uh, useful for the moment. I mean, access to counter them. And the shield pierce just counter extra, so it is just the safest to go warriors because they can chase enemy down and deal damage. Uh, okay, the Draugr are coming, only two of them, easily gonna get cheap out, not a problem. Yeah, do a feast, have as much scout income going as possible. If I had more iron, I would uh, use here to... Upgrade the merchants for more gold income, or maybe the farmers for food. Uh, but yeah, like at the start, if you have scouted out uh, ties next to your ties, then if you're scouting more, then you're overextending. Uh, I think I did upgrade this already. Yep. Alright, go there. Do that. have a little bit too much wood, to be honest. You 
know what? This can be healer camp. Uh, you want to get healers when you have achieved to heal. Any injured uh, villager you get, you just want to get rid of them. Yeah, it's just so slow. <laughs> getting that coin, it's on bottom three, second, and getting the boost preservation. If you're planning to attack in the winter, then probably would just be better to take weapon smith and fairy goats and just ignore the coinage. Uh, you can also uh, kill the neutrals and go for the co carrier path in the military experience, but. Tactician and repost armor is usually a lot better. No, 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 you stay there. <laughs> you keep building. Yeah, since you don't have enough food, I can't really attack here. Have to wait, waiting on the lore. It is better to be unhappy a little bit than to get the brewery. Because you're getting uh, a guy to sustain just so that you can have another guy. Shield program done. Good. Winters are like they are, and yeah, I'm just waiting on the lore. Uh, do I have more space? I do have one there. Take it, and they don't even really need the scout camp anymore <coughs> because they don't have anything to scout. So yeah, sure, just destroy it. Um, getting 16 warband here is definitely overkill. Cannot really get that many people. We can only like, get about 10. All right, get the uh, going. Let's get the happiness. Now I'll keep growing. Could also just go and put a house instead. So we can uh, make use of the happiness. Alright, fall back. <laughs> but yeah, for the military, it is very important that you pick up the weapon smith before you attack. Uh, stag is low, so yeah. Sadly, there is no way. Only if you go for the conqueror and your chief or your warriors get lasted too actually get that, but then again, tactician and 10% the chance of negating incoming attack is a lot better than conqueror and war effort. I could have also put the halter here at uh, one point when I was uh, playing the second market, but because I'm not going for a long game, I didn't do it. It does give you three more happiness, so you don't even have to wait for the Blood's Blessing. You can just have the happiness from the altar and keep growing. Alright. 
I'll convert as much as I can. Eleven warband. Not too bad, not too great either. Rip cheap. <laughs> Walkers are a pain to take down. guys in the chat, do you have any questions you want to ask? If not, then let's just wait for this to end. Oh! I didn't see you there. Uh, All right, <coughs> sure enough. Uh, the fight definitely would have been better if I had weapon smith more damage, but. Good enough. What do you think? Uh, two foot tiles is bad? I mean, make a foot pulling? Yeah. Second foot tile is overextending. You can really use that wood somewhere else. Either to get more code income, have another market up, and then 